Hello, my name is Mr. Spammel, and welcome to the Ultimate Unturned Raiding Guide. This will be part one, simply due to the amount of detail I'm going to be covering in this mini-series. This video is full of statistics, IDs, barricade health and weapon damage and we split into sections. So feel free to skip to any of the timestamps in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that button, and let's go ahead and get started. Section 1. Walls and Barricades. In this section I'm going to give the health of each barricade, its ID, and the amount of space it takes up in your inventory. Starting off with the strongest material, we have a metal wall. With an item ID of 371, it takes up 2 slots in your inventory, and has a health of 1100. Next up, we have a metal pillar, with an item ID of 374, it takes up 2 slots in your inventory, and has a health of 1100. Just like the metal wall. Then, we have the metal floor, with an item ID of 369. It takes up 4 slots in your inventory, and has a health of 1300, giving it 200 more than the pillar and wall. The metal window has an item ID of 372. It takes up 2 slots in your inventory, and has a health of 1100. The metal roof has an item ID of 373. It takes up 4 slots in your inventory, and has a health of 1300. The metal doorway has an item ID of 370, takes up 2 slots in your inventory and has a health of 1100, just like the pillar and wall. The metal door has an item ID of 378, takes up 2 slots in your inventory, has a health of 900, and is fully lockable. As an exception for this material, we're going to have the vault door, with a slight health gain from the normal metal doors, and they look cool, which, which is a plus. With an item ID of 286, it takes up 4 slots in your inventory and has a health of 1100, giving it 200 more than the normal door. Right, now we have metal out of the way, let's go on with wooden barricades. Keep in mind that all wood types have the same health, whether it's maple, birch, etc. The maple wall has an item ID of 33, it takes up 2 slots in your inventory and has a health of 400, which is significantly worse than the metal one. The maple pillar has an item ID of 36, takes up 2 slots in your inventory and has a health of 400. The maple floor has an item ID of 31, takes up 4 slots in your inventory and has a health of 500. Then, the maple window has an item ID of 34, takes up 2 slots in your inventory and has a health of 400. Just like the maple pillar and wall. The maple roof has an item ID of 35, takes up 4 slots in your inventory and has a health of 500. The maple doorway has an item ID of 32, takes up 2 slots in your inventory, has a health of 400. Then, the maple door has an item ID of 281, takes up 2 slots and has a health of 350. But, as we all know, the maple door is not lockable, making it useless apart from inside bases and as decoration. If, I don't know, if you, you like wood. Last up, we have brick, but due to how little this is used, it is very unlikely to find a base made of it. But, for the sake of this guide, I'll cover it anyway, and just because... Cause, Cause I'm a gangster. The brick wall has an item ID of 1215, takes up 2 slots in your inventory and has a health of 800. The brick pillar has an ID of 1212, takes up 2 slots in your inventory and has a health of 800. Just like the wall and pillar and window. The brick window has an item ID of 1216, takes up 2 slots in your inventory and has a health of 800. The brick doorway has an item ID of 1210, takes up 2 slots in your inventory and has a health of 800. As you can see from these numbers, doors have the lowest hit points, with walls being second best to target, as they leave more space and are less likely to be blocked from the inside, whether that's from like cupboards, etc. Another thing to keep in mind is that if the base you are raiding has any wooden structure at all, it is much more effective to attack that section, even if it's just a wooden floor for example. You may also notice I left a few barricades out of this list. I did this because attacking garage doorways and posts is a bit stupid and unneeded. Plus double doors and gates have the same health as normal doors at 900 hit points. Right, so, section 2, guns and explosives. For this section, I'm mostly looking at the weapon's damage and rarity, as this is the most important thing for raiding, because you need your weapon to be effective at taking out walls and doors, and easy to find, because otherwise I mean, you don't want to be searching for ages trying to find a weapon just to do a little raid. Starting off with a personal favourite, we have the Dragon Fang. With an ID of 132, it does 15 damage to barricades, has a rarity of epic, takes up 10 slots in your inventory and has a mag of 150. It takes 60 shots to destroy a metal door, 
uh, although it could take more depending on your range and accuracy of the shooter. This next one is annoying as it used to be the gunner choice before the recent nerfing of raiding. Yeah that's right, it's the Nykarev. With an ID of 126, it takes up 10 slots in your inventory and this thing used to do 15 damage just like the Dragonfang and with its 200 round mag it could chop down bases with just 60 bullets and because of its bigger mag it was much more efficient. But now it's just a pea shooter and a bad one at that. The Shadow Stalker has an ID of 300 and does 25 damage to barricades per shot. It is a legendary gun and takes up 10 slots in your inventory. It has a mag size of 1 and takes 36 shots to destroy a metal door. Which with a mag of 1 and considering the rarity of this ammo is very impractical for raiding. I mean if you have a lot of ammo feel free to use it if you'd like. The Shadow Stalker Mark II with an ID of 1441. It does 12.5 damage to barricades per shot. It has a rarity of mythical, takes up 10 slots in your inventory and has a mag size of 20. Taking 72 shots to destroy a metal door. This is a bit better than the Mark 1, but still impractical for just one door, as getting that many mags, just finding them around, especially considering the mythical rarity, is very impractical for raiding, and I wouldn't suggest this, maybe save it for PvP or just to hang up in your base, etc. The Grizzly has an ID of 297, it does 17.5 damage to barricades per shot, has a rarity of legendary, takes up 10 slots in your inventory and has a mag size of 5 and takes just 52 shots to destroy a metal door. The Echo also takes 52 shots to destroy a metal door, but with a mag size of 7 instead of 5, and the Timberwolf takes 52 shots, but because of the impracticality of snipers for raiding, and just the amount of noise you're going to make taking 52 shots and reloading that many times, it's not really worth that on an actual active PvP server, and so I wouldn't suggest them for that. And because of this, I'm not going to cover any more of them in this list. Now we're moving on to the more commonly used raiding tools. We have a demolition charge with an ID of 1241, a rarity of epic and does 500 damage to barricades. It takes up just one slot in your inventory and takes only two charges to destroy a door. Which is a significant upgrade to anything else we've covered in this list and uh, has been a fan favourite for a very long time. The precision charge is very similar to the demolition charge with an ID of 1393, a rarity of epic and does 500 damage to barricades. It also takes up one slot and takes two charges to destroy a metal door. The benefit of a precision charge is that it only has 37.5% the blast radius of the demolition charge and because of this you can use it to much more accurately target certain areas of the base and uh, spread out the damage it does much less. Next up we got grenades with the fragmentation grenade with an ID of 254. It only does 25 damage to barricades which is really bad for a grenade and I wouldn't suggest using it. The sticky grenade with an ID of 1100 does 50 damage to the barricade which is double the amount of the fragmentation grenade making it a more viable option but still impractical as far as raiding goes. And the impact grenade with an ID of 1520 it also does 50 damage to barricades and could be a good option if you have lots of them. The rocket launcher with an ID of 519 a rarity of legendary it does 500 damage to barricades, just like the demolition charge and precision charge. Has a mag size of 1, takes up 8 slots in your inventory, and only takes 2 rockets to destroy a metal door. Or possibly 1 if the door's already damaged, which with a rocket you'll commonly find that you spread out your damage a lot. The tank cannon, with a rarity of legendary, it does 500 damage, just like the rocket launcher and charges. It has a large blast radius and the projectile has better ballistics than the rocket launcher. So, in conclusion, from part 1 we discover that the best area to attack is the door, to always aim for wooden parts and that the Dragonfang and Chargers both precision and art are the best choices as far as barricade damage, with the rocket also being a great choice if available at the time. But anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching this video, it took absolutely ages to do all the research for and edit and compile it all into this creation. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button and I'll see you in the next video.